Better to be lucky than good. Urgh. Hey, whoa. Okay, we got to talk about some things uh, from yesterday's semifinals. Welcome to the channel, Old Guy Inc. Do me a favor, please subscribe and hit the like or hit dislike. Drop a comment. Tell me respectfully why you disagree with what I'm saying. Today, I'm not going to say a whole bunch of like uh, super controversial opinions, I don't think, but I would super. Uh, enjoy getting some feedback on today's topic, which is the topic of the day, the topic of the week, the topic of the year, right? CrossFit's standards, no reps. I think we may have set a new definition for no rep um, by actually just not doing the rep. I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. So if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know that I have talked specifically about how I hate judging personally. I don't wanna judge, I think it's incredibly hard. You can all tell me how stupid I am because to me, I'm gonna be honest, I have a hard time watching for standards and counting reps at the same time. And then sometimes people are moving quickly, okay, especially these elite athletes, and this is a lot of times where the problems come in when they're moving quickly. And if you are some amazing person who can do this and you can really self-evaluate yourself and you don't think you have any issue with this, I applaud you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you from personal experience and those people that I have talked to. If somebody is moving quickly and you're looking for movement standards and counting, yes, it is like chewing gum and walking at the same time. It's hard. Now, if you call out a no rep, there is a very good chance that in the amount of time it takes you to say that, the person has already done another rep in some instances. So now all of a sudden, you have to keep track of watching what they're doing, looking for multiple points of performance, spotting a flaw, then saying out loud, no rep, remembering what number you were on, not counting that rep in your head, and then getting right back on track with the next number, before they complete another rep. And in many, many, many of these movements, they are completing these reps in well under a second. So I understand the brain is amazing and it can do computations very, very quickly. But what I'm gonna be willing to admit to you here today is that sometimes that is really, really hard to do and I lose track. So what is my point to that? My point to that is here's one of the things I think is the problem is you can't fix the way the human brain works. And so we have outliers that are amazing and they can probably do it and you know they would win some sort of uh, judging contest if we had such a thing. What I'm telling you is it's hard to do sometimes and to keep track of those two things at the same time. So... What I would suggest, okay, is that we look at some other sports that don't even move super quickly and we realize why they have multiple judges, okay? So for instance, in Olympic lifting, when we're looking for Olympic lift standards, we have three judges because they understand that even though they're only doing one rep, in order to see it correctly, you have to have multiple judges from multiple angles. Now, I'm not suggesting we do that, okay? But I will tell you, that I think it's theoretically possible we look at having two judges, okay? Right away, I know we're doubling things. But how about during Metcons, we have one judge whose only job is to count reps, right? And they shouldn't be doing it in their head, okay? They should have a clicker. We should have some other sort of device, something to help them count reps. And then we should have somebody else who's looking for standards, Okay, so you guys might remember this. This is like the same thing. You can't be a judge and a cheerleader, okay? And, and the main reason that that always came up is you cannot be, this is why like if I'm trying to judge for my wife, can't do it, okay? Can't do it because now I just added a third thing to my plate, okay? Even if I try not to do it, in my mind, I'm trying to encourage what she's doing. I'm thinking about her pace. Maybe I'm checking the clock. I'm counting reps. I'm looking for movement standards. I mean, judging is not that easy, okay? So I think when we come up with some of these answers, especially for these in-person comps, so a lot of what we've been doing lately is talking about all these no reps in videos. Now, that does seem to be a little bit easier to sit down and watch a video 
And then once again, have multiple people watch those videos. Maybe some people are watching them for rep counts, some people are watching them for movement standards, but when we're in a live event, this is going to be really, really hard to fix. Now, this is kind of an outlying example, but hence my thumbnail, right? I mean, we have instances now where some teams aren't even completing all the reps. And because there's only one judge, there's nobody there to catch that mistake, right? Better to be lucky than good. Well, that applies uh, to a lot of things. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my little one came in and wanted a little something to eat. Uh, so I had to hit pause real quick. So anyway, where was I? So talking about uh, better to be lucky than good. I was like, ugh. Uh, pretty sure that's what the announcers said about those missed chest to bar pull-ups. And man, once again, I don't want to bash on the judges. I think they have a hard job. Now you're telling me that you're looking for two different athletes to be meeting movement standards, touching the bar at the same time, and you're counting reps. What I'm saying is I'm not hating on the judges. I'm hating on the system. And I'm not even hating. I'm saying, hey, let's question the system. I don't think volunteers are super, super hard to come by at those levels in particular, certainly at the games. I do think that although logistically I am talking about doubling at minimum the judges, I do think that that would help tremendously if we had people looking for different things. And I mentioned uh, like when I'm trying to judge for my wife, I'm like, I can't do it. So I have to just like pick one. And I normally would pick the coaching, right? So I can just sit there and cheer on. But if I'm the only one there or she's doing something on a video, I mean, I have to make a very, very concerted effort to be like, look, I'm really just gonna be counting your reps. I mean, you have to do a really good job of making sure your movement standards are good because it's hard for the athlete to be doing that when they're moving quickly. And it's hard for me to do that and count at the same time. So I do think that would help. I certainly think on uh, team events where there's multiple athletes. I mean, sometimes when these guys are on the worm, we've got one judge looking for four people all to do something in sync. And I'm like, dude, I mean, how much harder are we going to make this uh, on the judges? So. I am all about supporting the judges based on the fact that everybody's judging judges and everybody's judging no reps. I mean, the people who are still willing to step up, go to semifinals, be on video camera, and be responsible for taking on that responsibility, I'm saying I'm not calling out any judges. I'm not dirt shooting any judges. And you know what? I'm really not going to dirt shoot uh, the announcers, I mean, what are they supposed to say when they see something, right? I mean, it is not a good look to say better lucky than good, right? I mean, this is not golf, okay? We really don't want luck to play a factor in our sport. So we've got some thinking to do, right? We got some brainstorming to do. So guys, tell me, what are your thoughts on multiple judges, okay, at the in-person competition? Do you agree with me that that would at least help? I'm not saying we're ever going to eliminate human error because I just don't think that's physically possible. But what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, do you think that would make a difference? Like what if we had two judges on the team events in particular and one person is just looking for synchronization, let's say they're looking for movement standards, somebody else is just counting reps. Um, I don't know, maybe on the, like the max lifts, we have a minimum of two judges, so people are looking at it from different angles. I'm not exactly sure, right? Because sometimes we got judges, once again, let's just go through this. Judges have to watch the clock, look for movement standards, count reps. They got to stick their hand in the air. They got to do this countdown. They got to give you a no rep. Remember where they were in the rep count. So anyways, you know what all that does? It makes the judge's life easier not to give no reps. Because if you've ever judged somebody and they're ripping out pistols, overhead squats, very quick movements, and you're giving them lots of no reps, I mean, one no rep is one thing, but if you have to give multiple no reps, it is hard to keep track of where you're counting. And then, you know when we have movements where they have to alternate, like you have to alternate, and so then if you get a no rep on one side and then you do a movement on the other side, even if you do it accurately and correctly, that's still a no rep, because you didn't complete this one before you alternated, so now you gotta go back and do this one. 
And the judge is like, wait, but that was a good rep. What, what fucking number am I on now? So what I'm telling you is, it is so much easier for judges to just try to count reps. And that's why you don't see rep discrepancies being an issue or a conversation of topic very often because judges are focused in mainly, I believe, on counting reps because I think we all feel that that's probably, I shouldn't say that, it, it's important. I think some people think that that's more important. Let me just make sure at least they do the correct amount of reps. So being able to just focus in and watch in on the movement standards becomes harder. So I don't know. There's obviously always discrepancies about rules, like where can you regrip the bar, where can't you regrip the bar. I mean, people who are at both competitions are saying, uh, the judges are saying two different things. The, the athletes can't even agree on what they read or what they saw. So I don't know how to fix these problems once again. I'm still enjoying watching the events. I think they're great. I think there's no sporting event on the planet where we're not gonna have issues. Um, but I do think, in particular, if I could pick one thing, I'd like to hear people's thoughts about adding additional judges so that we have at least two judges, in particular on team events, but I'd like to see them on every competition, even for the individuals. One judge counting reps, one looking for movement standards, and that's it. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me up in the comments. I'd appreciate it, guys. Enjoy the rest of Memorial Day weekend and the rest of semifinals, right? There's still so much fun to watch.